Well, good afternoon. I should say good evening, everybody. This is Minister Gloria. Today's date is June the 11th of 2021, 2021. And the time is 6.40 p.m. on a Saturday afternoon. So anyway, I'm going to start off with, with the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. I want to welcome you all to my channel. I want to welcome you all to my channel. And I haven't been on, I don't think, since June 21st. I've done a lot of Instagrams. I've done a lot of Instagrams. And I've wanted to copy them. I hate to have to copy it this way. I don't like to have to do that. But the restream thing bombed out. I did something wrong or something. So it bombed out on me. So, I'm going to start this off. First of all, I'm going to read uh, for today. Wait a minute. Divine Strength. It just says June the 11th. Div Divine Strength. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me get things together here. <laughs> Be strong in the Lord. And in the strength of his power. And that's in reference to Ephesians 6, 10. Now, I did this on Instagram. But anyway. When we put on the armor of God, we are able to stand against the schemes of the enemy who seeks to steal, kill, kill, and to destroy. Let's see. Yeah, unlike the enemy, Jesus brings us abundant life, not death. He does not tear us down. He builds us up. So let us put on the full armor of God, as Paul says later in Ephesians. When we lean on the presence of Jesus in our lives, he is the supernatural strength that infuses us with the power we need to stand, with truth as a belt to strengthen us to stand in victory, because without the belt of truth, the rest of the armor won't stay on. Okay. Holiness as protective armor over our heart and with feet ready to share the gospel of peace We will prevail over the slander of the enemy with faith as our shield Salvation to protect our minds from lies and the sharp spirit sword of the Word of God We will come through every battle victorious We have not been left defenseless in this world. We have the tools of the kingdom of God at the ready at the ready Victorious one, I am putting on your armor today. It is in your strength that I am made strong. It is in your power that I can overcome. It is in your faithfulness that my faith is rooted. Move in mighty mercy as I partner with you. And that's my Jesus first. Jesus first. And some powerful devotionals. Okay, now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy... Um, <clears throat> one I did yesterday and it's about narcissists narcissists so I'm going to copy that I'm going to copy it and I'm going to do a little bit of talking later on I'm going to do a little bit of talking I mean I almost gave up I almost gave up my ministry and everything because the devil tried to steal, to steal, kill, and to destroy. Didn't work. It didn't work. All right. I'm going to hope and pray that this, this is all right. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. I hope that I've got everything set up right. I didn't, pre I never thought about checking the volume on my iPad. I never thought about checking the volume on it. Usually something goes wrong when I, now what's wrong with that now? Oh, I don't have a whole lot of room on this 
this table. All right, I'm going to turn this around, and I hope that it's okay. I think it's going to be all right. Here we go. Now, what I'm going to have to do, this is Gloria. I'm going to have to turn this sideways. Oh, I'm going to have to shut that door. I don't know how it's going to look because I've got it charging. But I've got a word. i got to put it in my stand. I don't know how, I don't know how it's going to look. Daniel, Danny, hello. I'm sideways probably on your end. I'll prob I'm probably sideways. But I've got this phone charging, so I had to do it like this. Never can get this fixed right, people. But anyway, I had to do it like this. Tell me, tell me if I'm sideways. I'll wave. I am probably sideways. But it can't be helped. It can't be helped. Am I sideways? I had to, like I said, I had to turn it around. Am I sideways? Oops. Anyway, this is June the 10th of 2022, and I did one this morning outside. I did, did one earlier this morning. I was going to go outside and do it, but it, it's going to rain any time. It's going to come a pouring rain here in a little bit. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And I didn't want my phone to go dead. So I had to. That's what I don't like about the, the charger being on the bottom of the phone. Okay. I'm going to uh, pray this in with the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. All right. What I want to talk about, like I said, I'm sorry that this is sideways. I'm sorry that this is sideways, but it is what it is. And thus I hold it in my hand. And thus I hold it in my hand. And Pam, well, hello, Pam, hello, Sister Pam Cog. Hello, I'll wave at you. Now, I'm, am I sideways? Because I had to turn my phone, I've got it charging, and I had to turn my phone this way. So tell me if I'm sideways. I probably am. I says, hi, hi, blessings. Am I sideways, Sister Pam? Am I sideways? Yes, you are. Well, I can hold it in my hand. I can hold it. I can hold it in my hand. Let me, all right, hang on a minute. I don't want to look bad. Okay, there. I'll do, I'll do it this way. I'll have to hold it. That's what I don't like about the, the charging thing at the bottom of the phone. You know, it's okay. It just makes my hand cramp when I have to hold it very long. But I have something that I want to I want to talk about for a little bit, maybe ten or fifteen minutes. Okay. Now I don't know who all is going to join on here or see the replay, but I felt like the Lord wanted me to get on here and and talk about this because it's something very serious. And um, so, just bear with me. Bear with me. And. Um, Okay, it's about a narcissist, narcissistic people, narcissistic people, and um, this is kind of hard. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the heart. Um, I was in relationship with a man for from two thousand six. Or no, 2008 until last year. Needless to say, it didn't. It didn't end well because uh, he is in a long-term facility. That's a whole. It's a whole long. It's a whole long story. But anyway, I got out of that relationship, 
and their trait, their traits. I'm so sorry. Well, I learned, I learned, I learned, and and thank you. But they can age a person. They can age a person. And uh, they can have good things about them. And basically, a narcissist is someone that has to be in control, complete control. And if, if, if they can't be a leader, like a leader, or in control, then they get very upset. They get very, very upset. Thank you for the hearts. Hearts for Jesus. Hearts for Jesus. Um, this is very touchy. This is very a very, very touchy subject. I've seen lots and lots of videos about a narcissist. I've seen lots and lots of videos about, about it. I've read posts about narcissists. And... Um, trying to help, help Holy Spirit help me help me word this help me word this they get mad they get mad when you don't go along if you don't go along with what they say in other words they'll they'll say that they care about you that they deeply care about you as long as everything goes along smooth and you agree with everything that they say but if you cross them, if you cross them, then all hell can break loose. All hell can break loose. And there's so many people. It's it, A lot of it is it stems from their childhood, the way they were raised. If they had a narcissistic mother or dad or stepmother or whatever, they can get narcissistic ways. They can have narcissistic ways themselves, and not and really not realize it. And some some admit to it. Some admit to it, but they say that they're better. They're better now. That they're they're a whole, a whole lot better because since they found Christ, since they found Christ. Well, um, they are very sneaky, conniving. Sneaky and conniving. And they can fool a lot of people. They can fool a lot of people. Male or female. Women are that way too. Women are that way too. They can put people's lives through a living hell. They put you through a living hell. And they know how to suck somebody in. Yes. They know how they know how to, to suck you in. This is all truth. This is raw, real, raw truth about a narcissist. About a narcissist. And there's so many traits. There's so many traits of a narcissist. So many traits. And the worst, one of the worst ones is when it deals with religion. When it deals with religion, that's one of the worst. And they will try to convince you that you didn't have a calling on your life. You don't have a calling on your life. Just, just things like that that you don't have a calling on your life they can say mean and hateful things twist things around to where it's our fault and what they speak is truth and if you get angry then that means that you're being convicted being convicted when someone speaks the truth no no. When they have a like a chip on their shoulder, 
They're very belittling. Yet, boom, right there. Belittling. And they say, no, no, it's it's not be, belittling a woman. It's not belittling, belittling a woman. I've been through this for uh, probably three years. But it's been worse. It's it, it, it's grown a lot worse because it's in, it's still in the family. It's in the family. It's in the family. Like I said, this is very real and raw. This is very real and raw. But like I said a while ago, it makes it even worse when it's religion is brought into it. When religion is brought into it. They are very Mac William two feet. Well, good afternoon, Mac. Mac, I'm Sister Gloria. Welcome to my scope or scope. I still I'm so used to being on Periscope. Welcome to my Instagram. I'll wave at you. This is a very touchy subject. It's about narcissists, or in other words, controlling people, controlling that they have to be in complete control. And I will say one thing. I was almost sucked into a religion. I was almost sucked into it. But I did I did some deeper digging. I did some deeper digging. I am a minister. A minister of God. I'm Protestant. And I'm going to stay Protestant. I was almost convinced that Protestantism is false. Maybe it is false. I don't go by that. I go by my God. My God called me. And to have somebody tell me that I was not called to be a minister, I was not called. I don't have a calling on my life. I almost gave up. I almost gave up and said to heck with it or or, to hell with it. That's how bad things were getting. So bad things were getting until I finally realized that's the devil. That is the devil. Because he seeks to kill, steal, and to destroy. And what better way to destroy a person? What better way? It's not about a religion. It's about a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That's what it's about. It's not about a religion. It's not about a building made with brick and mortar no it's not sure Protestants get things wrong a lot of people get things wrong a lot of people do have things wrong I go by what my Bible says I go by what my Bible says even if some of the even if some of the things have been taken out of the Bible and it's been translated in I don't know how many, you know, it's still the same. It's still, it's the word of God. Profitable for rebuke. Well, whatever, wherever that scripture is, I forget now. But anyway, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But I'm going to say something. If there's anybody that is on here or comes by this replay that is with someone that is controlling Narcissist, narcissistic. Get away from them. Get away from them. Because if you turn on them, it's not good. It's not good. It won't have a good ending if you turn on them. The best thing to do is make your plans to leave. If you're able to work, if you can support yourself, then leave. Plan it out. If you have to plan it out two or three months ahead of time or whatever, plan it out and get the heck away from this person. Get it away from this person. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts, Sister Pam. Hearts for Jesus. But the Holy Spirit unctioned me to come on here and talk about this because it's in my family. It's in my family. It's in my family, and it's it's horrible. It's horrible. Like I said, I can't use names. 
Some of you will know who I'm talking about. I have a daughter and I have a grandson, actually two grandsons. The oldest one is 22 and the youngest one's 18. I love dearly. The oldest one, the oldest one is in Arkansas. But like I said, the Holy Spirit unctioned me to, to come on here to give a warning, to give a warning. Narcissist. In other words, someone that is controlling. That has to have everything done their way. And and they they can word it like, well, I'm a leader. I've always been a leader. I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. No, they want complete control. They want complete control. They want complete control. I know some people like that. I know people that's like that. Women that are like that. Women that are like that. And I've been on here longer than I had planned on. Thank you for the hearts, Pam. Thank you for the hearts. And you're a very, very sweet lady. You're a very, very sweet lady. But anyway, I wanted to get on here, like I said, and talk a little bit about it. Just kind of touch on it a little bit. The basic, the basic things. All we can do is pray that members of our family will have their eyes open. That God will take the scales off of the person that is, is a narcissist. But like I said, they can be very good. They can be very kind, generous, very good. Very loving. Until things go the other way. So I'm so glad you are free of them. May God keep you. Thank you. Well, the bad thing about it is, Pam, is I'm still... There's a narcissist still in, in the family. Still in the family. And I broke free... I broke free. I had to because he was driving me nuts. Driving me insane almost. To the point of of giving up my ministry. Giving up. Giving up. And finally I said, no, no. If this person can't repent of, of how he's acting... Repent. Turn to God. Turn to to the Lord. Not a priest. Not a person. Turn to God. And say, Lord, I repent of my actions. I repent of bringing my past. Letting my past define me. My past. And yes, this person did go through a horrible, a horrible time. That I feel bad about. But you cannot define, you cannot define yourself by your past. Let the Lord change you. Pray for God to change you. You don't, you don't want to have this attitude. I don't care. I don't give a damn if the people like what I say or whatever. I speak truth. No, that's not the attitude to have. That's not an attitude of a, a Christian Bible-believing person. Not this I don't care attitude. Well, if they don't like it, then that's just too bad. See? That's not a loving, spirit-filled, spirit-filled man or woman of God. This chip on your shoulder. That's not a loving spirit. That's demonic. Pure and simple. It's demonic. It's demonic. So like I said, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit unctioned me to get on here and talk about this a little bit. So I did. To all of you that will watch the replay, God bless you all. I love you all. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
we need to pray even more now. Not to mention everything that's going on now in this world and everything that's going on. Now is not the time to be at odds with a person's family. Bless you, sis. Bless you, too. But now isn't the time to be at odds with the family. You know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but, but against principalities, the rulers of darkness. It's not the person. It's they're being manipulated by, by Satan, by evil. By, by evil and they don't and they don't they don't get it being influenced by by the devil by demons so anyway well I guess I've been on here long enough I said 15 minutes and thank you again for the hearts Pam you're so like again you're so sweet <laughs> May God gives. So I'm going to do the Our Father, and I'm going to go ahead and close. But you, but whoever watches this, please take heed. Take heed. And if you're with someone that is controlling, get away from them. Like I said earlier, plan it ahead of time. If you have to plan up to four, three or four months, if you're able to work and support yourself, get away from them. Get away from them because it doesn't end well when you're with a narcissist. It doesn't end well. So pray, 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 pray. <clears throat> okay, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, amen. Uh, Stefan, well, hello, hello. Wait, I'll wave at you. I'm getting ready to go. You can watch the replay. Um, but this, this subject is about a narcissist. A, mar a narcissist. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to go ahead and go for now. Watch the replay. And if I make some people mad, well, then I make some people mad. It, I had to get on here and be real and raw. Real and raw. So, please watch this Watch this, re this replay. So, I love you all. Be blessed and not stressed. Keep on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Keep on the belt of truth, the boots of peace, the sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith to be able to come up against the wiles of the devil. Because he seeks to kill, steal, and to destroy. And he roams about, seeking to whom he can devour. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. So, this is Minister Gloria. I love you all again. Kisses and hugs to each and every one of you to my next broadcast. I love you all. All right, bye-bye. And I'm glad you joined, Pam. Okay, till next time. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. It was very hard for me, for me to do that. It was very hard for me to do it. <clears throat> but it had to be done. The Holy Spirit dropped that dropped that in my spirit to get on there and talk about it. I've got to open that door. I tried to close it enough where I wouldn't see the shadow, but you can still see a little piece. I'm going to open the door now. Hopefully it won't mess up this. Hang on a minute. No, that's not... I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be all right. <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to... I had promised a while back that whenever I did a broadcast, I was going to sing. So I'm going to sing a song and then talk a little bit more. I don't like to make these too long. I don't like to make them too long. <clears throat> so I'm going to sing, There is Power in the Blood. Power in the Blood. 
Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood, yes. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Now, sometimes my voice will break because of my sinuses. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. I may have to go down, down a tone. I forget I'm not a soprano anymore. I'm an alto. <clears throat> Would you be whiter, much whiter than snow? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Sin stains are lost in its life-giving flow. There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. Of the Lamb, hallelujah, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Last verse. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily his praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah! There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. In the precious blood of the Lamb. <clears throat> Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garments that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Are you washed? In the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? <clears throat> My daddy used to make that piano talk. 
and of course I played piano too. He played guitar. <clears throat> you know, I've said this before. When you know that you know that you know. And I know. And I know. God called me seven years ago. And I even told the whole the Holy Spirit. I told the Lord. I said, but I can't preach. He said, you will. You will. I said, well, okay, you're going to have to teach me. You're going to have to teach me. God calls the unqualified. I wasn't qualified. I wasn't qualified to be a, a minister. And it was thrown up in my face, well, you don't go to church. How can you say you're a minister when you don't go to church? I have my online church. And I know you're not supposed to forsake the assembling, the assembling together of the saints. I know that as well. <clears throat> I know that as well. But that's another thing that a narcissist will do. They'll throw everything they can in your face. Everything they can think of to throw up to you to get you discouraged. To get a person discouraged. I mean, and... I was getting so bad, now th this is real and raw, I was getting so bad that I was starting to get agoraphobic like I was at one time, fear of leaving the house, and you know God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind, afraid that everything I did, everything I said wasn't good enough for certain people, that's bad, that's bad. And I finally said no to the devil. I said no. I said I will not let anybody deter me or discourage me from my calling, even though I'm not qualified. My daddy wasn't qualified either. He didn't. He, he only had a sixth grade education. He didn't go to no Bible seminary or no, no Bible colleges or anything. God called my dad. My dad said, Lord, if you'll teach me to read and write. Daddy couldn't even read or write, but the Lord taught him. If you'll teach me to read and write, I want to preach your word. No, he couldn't pronounce. He, he couldn't pronounce some words. But the thing of it was, he was doing it for God. People made fun of him. People laughed at him, mocked him. One minister tried to blacklist my dad, tried to blackball my dad to get him kicked out of the association that he was with. The International Gospel Association out of uh, Missouri. And I was going to go through them as well to get mine, but I still smoked. But I was honest enough that they sent back my $30 fee. They, they said, let us know, if, if you haven't smoked for a year, let us know. We would like for you to be in our association. Well, it's okay, that's okay. That's all right, because we are not perfect. The point of it is we are not perfect. That's the point. We are, we are as filthy rags. We are saved by his mercy and his grace. That's how we're saved. There's none righteous, no, not one. No, not one. Anybody that tells you they're perfect, it's a lie. A lie from the pit of hell. We take one day at a time. We repent every day for known and unknown sins. We repent. We are supposed to be righteous. And God makes us righteous through him. Because these bodies, these earthly corruptible bodies, we do and we will sin. If you slip and say a cuss word, you sinned right there. No, you immediately ask God's forgiveness. Ask his forgiveness for the slip. That's what you do. The Bible says there is now no condemnation 
No, there's no now, now no condemnation. I've got some scriptures. I'm going to come back on here after a while and read some scriptures. But don't let anybody try to get you down. If you feel a, if you feel a tugging of the Lord, if you feel like that you're being called to the ministry, do it. Do it. Do it. We don't listen to man. We listen to God and what God says. Man or woman. In the spiritual realm, it's man and woman. Don't let nobody tell you that you, if you're a woman, that you can't preach. You can't become an ordained minister of God because that's a lie. It's a lie. There are people that claim to love the Lord. See, actions speak louder than words. You can say that you go to church and, and, the, and you take the sacraments and do all that, but if your actions doesn't line up with the word, 2 Timothy says, Study thyself to be approved unto God. Unto God, not man. Study thyself to be approved unto God, not man. I finally got that in my head, finally. There were some very good people, prayer group that I had been a part of, Gospel Minute Live with Steve Toby. Most of them are orthodox. A lot of them aren't orthodox. It's for anybody, but they're mostly orthodox. And I felt like that I should not be a part of that anymore because they are orthodox and anyway we are to love one another again pray for one another lift one another up don't tear people down I've said this for months I've said this for years don't tear people down And put down those stones. Put down them stones. They without sin cast the first stone. And what did Jesus tell the woman that was caught in the act? He said, neither do I condemn thee, woman. Go and sin no more. They could have stoned her to death. They could have stoned her to death, but they didn't. Don't be afraid of your calling. Because I have a social anxiety disorder. I was born with it. It's a chemical imbalance in the brain. I was born with it and I had panic attacks. What brought them out was when my daughter's father and I broke up after being together for 22 years. Well, we finally got those under control. But they started to try to creep back a few months ago. See, it's the devil, the devil. The devil. Here we go again. The devil seeks to kill, steal, and to destroy. And don't let nobody take your crown. Don't take nobody, let nobody take your crown. There's a lot of people that's born with that. There's a lot of people that's born with that. I'm going to give my testimony. I'm, I'm going to give my full testimony on one of, these, one of these times. I'm going to give my full testimony from the time I was eight or nine years old until up to now. My full testimony, and it's going to take a couple hours probably. I mean, so just love one another love one another and <clears throat> like I said I want to reiterate something too if you're with someone that is controlling get away from them get away from them you know it, it's just it's very sad it's sad I tried everything I knew to love this person And he knew that I loved him. 
I still do. I just can't. I just can't be around him. I just can't be around him. And it's very sad. And I'll say this again: He needs to repent. Repent, because he got himself mixed up in in the wrong. The wrong belief. Because he was hurt many years ago. He was hurt in a Protestant church. He was hurt. That's a basic truth. He was, he was hurt and he don't want to admit it. He said, I knew Protestantism was false. Well, some things about it is. Yes. But if we all can just remember... It's not about a religion. It's about a relationship with Jesus. Over 40,000 denominations, that's right. God didn't intend it to be that way. He didn't intend it to be that way. So anyway, like I said, I didn't want to keep this, didn't want to keep, make this too awful long. It's almost 6.30 and I've been on here 46 minutes. So I hope, hope that what all you've heard will bless you. I hope that you will take to heart what I've said, what I've said. And as far as giving, giving a love gift or giving a donation or whatever, that's fine. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. Because like I've said, I'm not on here to beg for money. I'm not on here to beg for money. So anyway, keep us, please keep us in your prayers because we're trying to find a, a cheaper place because it's killing us. It's killing our finances. We had to let two bills, we had to let two bills go this month, very important bills we had to let go. It was either pay them or eat, pay them or eat. So we've got to get a cheaper place. And also I'd like to move out of Illinois. I would like to let move out of Illinois I would like to move to a red state to a red state so it'll take it'll take the money the funds to do it and the, the way the, the way and God will provide a way he will go far ahead of us to prepare the way to and make the crooked path straight there's really nothing here in Illinois for me anymore anyway. Just memories. Memories. And some family that's still here that don't that doesn't really care. Doesn't care, you know, so. It's not like I'm gonna be missed, in other words. It's not like I'm I'm gonna be missed. Same way with the shuffle boy. Well, one of the shuffle boys. Joe feels the same way I do. If we leave Illinois, Ivan's going to stay back here. So, anyway, I usually open with the Lord's Prayer, or the Our Father, and I'm going to close with the Our Father. So, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And also, that's another way to cause division in the family. To cause division in the family. I saw a short clip that my daughter made earlier on Instagram. She was, she was playing Country Roads by John Denver. Take me home, country roads, to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. Me and her dad he used to play that on the guitar and we always sing it. We always liked John Denver. But anyway, I know that's a secular song, I know. But... Take me home, country roads. Wherever home is, temporarily until 
we go to our new home in heaven, if we're found worthy enough, the Lord will look at us and say, well done, thou true and faithful servant. But woe be to those that he says, depart from me, I never knew you. You worker of iniquity, I never knew you. Woe to them. I never had a relationship with you. You were all about being religious. Religion and traditions of men. I never had a personal relationship with you. Woe to them. Woe to them. So this is Minister Gloria Drummond. The time now is 6.30 p.m. on June the 11th of 2022. You know, I couldn't even, I couldn't even think straight. I couldn't even think straight. Now I'm, now I'm more calm. I'm more calmer. Once I made the decision. And I told the devil to get out of my way. To get out of my way. Not today, devil. Not today. So anyway, I love you guys with the love of Christ Jesus. Be blessed and not stressed. Keep on that whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Keep on the belt of truth, the boots of peace, the sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith to be able to come up against the wiles of the devil because he seeks to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And he roams about seeking to whom he can devour. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. So, all right. I love you.